So today I am going to show off a book. Now I have shown a few sort of how cool is this book things uh, in some of the other videos, but this is a book I have not read. I've just taken delivery of it this morning. So why am I, it's not signed, so why am I showing it off? Well, so often we look at books on websites, we see a little thumbnail, we look at Waterstones, we look at Amazon, so on. But some, I really want to know what a book physically looks like. I love the feel of a book in my hand. I like to see physically what the how big the book is, of course. Uh, we do see page counts on Amazon and stuff, but I thought what I'm going to start doing is any new books I get, certainly the cool ones like this, is show them off a little bit, uh, just so you can see physically how big the book is. So what we have here is just released, You Like It Darker. It is a collection of 12 short stories by the master, Stephen King. Uh, this is a hardback edition. This is the Waterstones exclusive edition, and I will show you the differences between that and the standard hardback. It's not a huge difference, so don't worry if you've not got this one. So we get 12 new stories. Now, what new stories? Look, this is one of the differences. The gold leaf that you get. You get this in the front, and you also get it in the back. So that's one of the differences. I'm going to cover the differences just now while... While I'm on there, near the back of the book, the extra is an author Q&A. So it's maybe one, two, three, three pages of Q&A. Other than that, and the gold leaf, there's no difference between the Waterstones exclusive or the regular hardback edition. So if you're a crazy collector and you've got to have the very best one out there and you can't get your hands on a signed one, don't know if there are any, then maybe pick up the Waterstones one. So, the 12 stories that we get in You Like It Darker, dedicated to twins, Thomas and Edward. There we go. So we get, there we go. So that is the stories that we get in here. Hopefully it's focusing. So some of these have been published previously. The ones that haven't been published previously. Uh, the first story, Two, Two Talented Bastards, has never been published before Danny Coughlin's Bad Dream has never been published before, and the last three, so uh, Rattlesnakes, The Dreamers, and The Answer Man have never been published before. Rattlesnakes looks interesting because this is apparently a follow on from Cujo, which I'm always excited when anything Stephen King movie related gets mentioned. Uh, so, therefore, Rattlesnakes is one that does interest me. My partner, Annette, will be watching or reading this book at some point, so I'll just ask her all about it, because there's too many films for me to watch. I'm way behind on books. So the size of the writing, standard. See, even that's a thing. It's like, how big is the writing? That, that can sometimes be a thing on why, uh, on whether I publish a book or not. So no pictures in it, so it's not an illustrated one. And hopefully none of you little spoilers have paused my little video, so you can just read some of these pages. I am trying to flick through them as quick as possible. So there you go, Stephen King, you like it darker. So if you do like his short story things, uh, then you'll definitely, hopefully, pick this up. It is out now, this isn't a press copy. I did buy this from Waterstones. And I managed to get it for £12.50, so they were doing a half price sale on the hardback. Now why would you not pay £12.50 for this very cool book? So are you a Stephen King fan? Are you reading this book? Have you already read some of the short stories? Is the one that stands out more than any others. Drop some comments. Let's get some Stephen King uh, chatter going in the comment section. Thank you.